Hi folks, so Johnny here again. Uh, just more on the user phones basically. Um, it's all about those at the moment. I'm getting more requests from people who've already bought one or are thinking about buying one. Uh, and right from the very beginning, I had a plan to make them f be usable for every kind of harp, including uh, things that most people call a damoy. Um, so we've got that now, uh, adapted head basically. So just to recap, here's a damoy mini. They're, they're really not bad in terms of how loud they are, but if we clip one in the frame, I've left it with a string attached. Uh, you might want to take that off if it's your own one, but this is from from mine. So just pretty much the same way of, of clamping it in there, but it's got a lot more room around it because they don't want to touch anything, unlike the other types of harps. So I think we can we can see and hear it's it's quite a bit louder. So you can play it really quietly, you've got all the subtle stuff, but... And then, just to make sure it works with all the extremes, because people keep testing me, uh, I have to test them out, and that's about the smallest we could put in, and then the largest is one of these, which is the, the big triple-bladed, um, like a bass style so we can just sort of screw that on uh, if you saw my other video where I'm suggesting that these are screwed on rather than pushed on because they're a tight fit now which I'm, I'm pleased with so here's the really big deep also works really well so then the other development um, not to uh, just rest there uh, is I've been asking uh, sorry people have been asking me about um, really big harps so um, something that I was selling recently and been quite popular are these mega bass um, and like a lot of low harps they get low because they're long uh, it's one of the key ways you can make a low harp um, and we're finding with the original uh, uh, clamp top um, because there's so much harp that way when you were flexing the blade the blade was hitting this upper so what I've, I've done is basically you can buy for uh, you know a small price uh, an extra thick top top clamp to add to your existing clamp um, for new users. I'll probably do this as an all-in by all, but it's got a much deeper cut in it, and that allows the tongue to flex. Okay, so then we can pop that on our assembly. Um, <clears throat> I'd say with these large ones, the one caveat is because they're so large, and, and often, uh, and this is the case of this one, the way they're shaped means that then they're going slightly upwards. These aren't quite so good. Just on your lip. It, it works. And it is making it louder, but if you press it against your teeth, you end up actually pressing it, flexes, there's enough flex in the whole thing to allow it to come back down onto the frame again. And then it does get a lot louder. I pressed a bit too hard there. So that's one thing you have to be careful of, is not pressing too hard, because it can actually end up distorting the frame. Uh, that's particularly to things like uh, Zalaggy Black Fires, anything that's got very fine tolerance. Now, as we know, that makes a, a good sounding harp, but it means if you're clamping it, if you distort the frame too much, then you will get some clacking. So you've got to be a little bit careful. So, there we go. There's all the new latest variants. Go and have a look at those whenever you get a chance. Thanks for watching.